Heavyweight mediator Qatar says it is willing to act as a peacemaker between Algeria and Morocco. Q-Terminal makes a major investment into the biggest port in Europe. Qatar Red Crescent Society installs solar power at a hospital in the besieged Gaza Strip. And finally, PSG defender Abdou Diallo adds to a rush of global talents heading to the Gulf region. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar is ready and willing to engage in any official process that will bring North African neighbors Algeria and Morocco closer together. That's according to the spokesman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Majid Al Ansari. Speaking at a press briefing on Tuesday, the official said bridging the gap between the two countries is a major concern of Qatar, which shares good bilateral relations with both. Algiers severed its ties with Rabat in August 2021, citing hostile actions against Algeria. Since then, various mediation proposals have failed to settle the now, Qatar's seaport operator has signed a purchase agreement to acquire a majority stake in Europe's biggest port. The agreement will see Q-Terminals purchase Kramer Group's majority stake in the Netherlands port of Rotterdam. This is seen as an important strategic acquisition by Q-Terminals as they look to expand their presence into Europe and around the world. Over in Gaza, Qatar Red Crescent Society has provided the Al Quds Hospital with a solar power system to combat the issue of power outages in the area. Management at the hospital previously warned that life-saving health services were put at risk due to a chronic lack of power supply triggered by the ongoing illegal Israeli occupation of the city. And finally, PSG Senegalese defender Abdou Diallo has swapped Parc des Princes for Grand Hamad Stadium. The 27-year-old joined the reigning Emir Cup winners Al Arabi on a permanent deal, leaving PSG after winning all the major French domestic trophies multiple times. He joins a range of global talents swapping Europe for the Gulf region, following in the footsteps of Ronaldo, Sadio Mane, and more recently, Neymar. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.